Two questions to ask you. Is it okay to keep a secret from your spouse? No. 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 That's the politically correct answer. <laughs> truth is, you can't tell every damn thing. That's the truth. Now, you can tell everything if you want to. Okay? Gonna be a lot of arguing at your house. But let me ask you another question. Is it okay to keep secrets from your children? Yes. Oh, now, oh, now you like that one, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. And that is a resounding yes. Because you have done things back in your past that your kids don't need to know about. Matter of fact, it's best they don't ever find out. Because you're trying to raise your kids better than the way you were raised. You want to have them to have a better opportunity than you had. So you don't want them to step into the same traps that you stepped into. Now, so sometimes you have to admit that you stepped in traps, but sometimes it's best not to tell them all the stuff you done stepped in. It's just not best because kids use that. See, they stay, they little manipulative little devils. <laughs> you did it when you was my age. <laughs> because kids, man, they ask you stuff to get a barometer of where they are. Like kids will ask you stuff like, Dad, did you ever sneak out the house before? <laughs> no, I ain't never snuck out no house. <laughs> well, truth of the matter is, I had a garbage can under my window. It wasn't a garbage can, it was a step. So when I got out the window, I'd land on the garbage can, then get on the ground. Snuck out the house all the time. But to my sons, I've never snuck out the house. Because they don't need to know that. My son didn't ask you, Dad, you ever cheat on your homework? No, I ain't never cheated on my homework. <laughs> Hell yeah, I cheated. <laughs> I graduated, didn't I? <laughs> How else was I gonna graduate? Here was one they said, Dad, how many girlfriends did you have in high school? I said I was focused on my schoolwork. <laughs> I tried to explain to my sons how much more difficult it was to get a girl back in school when I was going to school than it was today. There was no texting. There was no cell phones. There was no emails. There was no FaceTime. There was no Facebook. There was no Twitter. If I liked a girl at school, I couldn't talk to her till I saw her at school. Because we only had one phone in the house. Call waiting had never come been developed. <laughs> See, y'all aren't millennials, listen to me. There was no call waiting. <laughs> they call your house, the line just busy. Yeah. That was just busy. Yeah. So I had to wait till I saw this girl in school the next day, which developed into the conversationalist that I became with women. <laughs> because this right here became butterscotch. Man, couldn't go over their house. Everybody, daddy stayed there. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when family stayed together just to stay together? Yeah. Remember that? Remember when your mom and daddy didn't have money to break up? <laughs> we got to stay together. 